With 2023 coming to a close, in the coming weeks up to Christmas, we are discussing what I feel like are the best golf products of 2023, with a handful of giveaways in there as well. Today we are discussing the best affordable irons, and for me these are a set of irons which have premium components, feel fantastic, perform just as you would like to, and I actually had my best ever round of golf with these Tacomo 301 irons. Now obviously these are a limited edition run, these are a copper set of CBs and MBs. You can only get them at the moment in Chrome. I also had them at the beginning of the season. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why I feel like they're the best affordable lines of the year, and also why I keep making videos on them. So many people in the comments say, James, not another Tacomo video. It's actually not so many people, it's a small handful of people. And I'll let you into a secret as to why I keep making these videos right after I strike this four iron down this fairway. We're at Alzora today, it's a gorgeous golf course, a fantastic setting to discuss some of the best golf products of the year. And you may notice a slight change I've made to these irons already. Nothing massive, but I feel like it's a lovely finishing touch to a set of irons that I've really enjoyed playing this year. So the four iron I have here is the CB, so that's the cavity back iron. You'll see it is a forged head. This has copper plating on there. Stay tuned for that. These are top secret at the moment, but you will start to see them maybe coming to fruition in 2024. I've got the MBs in the short irons, which we're going to talk through in just a second, but I spoke to you earlier about components. So we have a premium forged head, which feels spectacular. That four iron felt lovely. It's pretty forgiving. The blades aren't that forgiving, as you can imagine, but the CB head is nice and forgiving we have premium kbs shafts in there i have tall 120 stiff shafts and yes that's right i've upgraded my lampkin grip to this lovely green and yellow lampkin utx grip i think that's just finished it off nicely i absolutely love this club you'll see i played a really nice high floating four iron there and just wait there one second because i want to hit you another one and i want to show you exactly why i love these so much because it's not just having a little bit of feel, a little bit of forgiveness, being able to play a nice high four iron, because don't get me wrong, we all want to play a nice high four iron, but sometimes you want to play a nice low stinger four iron, and I feel like these irons are fantastic and versatile, so if I want to play the same shot there, just a lot lower, I can play that shot down that fairway. Check out that ball flight, that is absolutely gorgeous, a lovely little fade. Now I hear what you're saying, James, you played a high one, you played a low one, can you play me a nice big slinging draw? I feel like with these clubs, even the CBs, a lot of people would say, oh, I want MBs because I want to be able to work the ball. But having CBs in the top end of the bag for me just gives you that extra little bit of performance, that extra little bit of confidence, but you don't necessarily lose the ability to let's say aim at the middle of the water hazard and draw that back nicely into the fairway. If you feel like you want to be able to shot shape, you want to be able to work your golf shots and have them both in the middle of the fairway, like they are bang next to each other, which I'm hoping Chris might zoom in to show you, then you might want to check out the Tacomo 301 irons, especially the CBs in the long irons. So before we talk mid irons and short irons, what is the big secret about Tacomo on YouTube? Why do I keep making videos on them? Why does Matt Fryer make videos on them? Peter Finch make videos on them? Why do so many YouTubes keep making videos on Tacomo irons? The cat is out of the bag. A lot of people are interested in them. Whenever I make a video on Tacomo, so on YouTube, I'll let you into a big secret here. We have a ranking system. It's called an out of 10. So if your best performing video out of your last 10 videos is a one out of 10, that is your best performing video. If it's a 10 out of 10, you have a horrible black arrow down there. Usually your impression rates are down and your view rates are down. This may well not be interesting to you, but it may be interesting to some people. And that is what you want to steer clear of. Usually, if you start to see that, that's when you think, right, I'm gonna change up the content a bit. I'm not gonna make those videos anymore. But if you continue to see one out of 10 videos, you continue to see videos that perform well, then you're gonna keep making those videos. And I know from that, that a lot of you guys, my audience who I cherish, want to keep seeing Tacomo videos. That was a terrible stop with the camera but we'll carry on. So that's why I keep doing them. I want to give you guys what you want. And also to be honest, I really enjoy using the clubs. So if I really enjoy using the clubs, why wouldn't I keep making the videos, especially when the clubs look this good. Right, we are 154 yards out. We have the three balls right in the middle of the fairway here. 
one of the things that I think's helped my game so much using these irons is not necessarily going, you know what, I know that 154 yards is an eight iron for me, is a seven iron for me. I feel like these clubs have the versatility, which a lot of affordable irons don't necessarily have. I think if we start to talk about the best overall irons of 2023, there are maybe some better that might perform a little bit better, maybe a touch more consistent or even, God forbid, feel a bit better. But that is going to be a separate video on the best irons of 2023. Guys, we are giving away a couple of sets of these irons as well. So make sure you do get in the comments below. Comment below, Merry Christmas. Throw a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel. And of course, go and follow the guys at Tacomo on Instagram because that's where the draw will be made for a set of the standard 301 irons. Now, 154 yards up the hill into the wind. I feel like I can aim at the left side, play a nice little cut and hit it that yardage. And that for me, I've leaked that a little bit. Just stay there, it's the right distance. That's actually up there to the green. That's not too bad at all. This for me is where when I played my best ever round of golf at Tiger Woods' golf course from the Tiger Woods tees, I did this a lot. I didn't just go full-blooded eight iron or seven iron. I made sure that I was creating shots from a distance that I really, really enjoyed. You've seen me hit the four iron, you've seen me hit the six iron. Let's see if we can muscle an eight iron there. The eight iron that I have is the MB head, so the muscle back head. I think this looks absolutely spectacular. And if it was an award for the best looking iron of 2023, I honestly think this, especially in that copper finish, would potentially win. So we've moved forward a bit here. We're now 150 yards on the nose. Again, I'm just gonna try and play a full one now because it's important Yes, you can work the shots, they are versatile, but they're also consistent and do go the yardage you want them to go when you swing it like that, that is all over it. Please be good. Be good! Oh! <laughs> it's that amount of joy that I get hitting these irons, striking it like that off this spectacular turf here at Alzora Golf Club with a result like that, all for less than 600 pounds. Oh, yes, please. And to be honest, I do want to take a little bit of time talking about the turf interaction that I can get with these irons because it's not something that's taken for granted with the guys at Tacoma. You look at how that leading edge is chamfered off just a little bit. That does massively help with the turf interaction. I've just realized I've not cleaned that. I put it back in my bag. That is absolute sacrilege for a set of irons that looks that good. But we will make sure that we put this back. Now let's talk the wedge. Because you see, pitching wedge for me is a club which I really enjoy having in a blade style because I feel like it not only gives me the performance that I do want, but also I'll say that word again, versatility. Versatility that you guys could get if you do win one of the sets of these irons that me and Tacoma are giving away ready for Christmas. The draw will be made on Boxing Day. I'm making a mass draw on my channel of the best of 2023. There's drivers, there's irons, there's putters, there's wedges, there's balls. So make sure you check out the videos. I will put them all in a playlist. Invite a friend, invite your mum, invite your dad, invite everyone. Make sure they subscribe, guys. We're hoping to see that channel grow massively. We're on the run to 300,000 subs and I'd love you to be a part of it. But back to these irons, I love that with a bladed wedge, I can play shots like this from 80 yards and not feel like it's big and clunky, not feel like it's going to be in my way. Oh, how close are we getting with these shots? But sometimes I feel like if you do go CBs throughout, the wedge can look a little bit big, a little bit clumbersome, a little bit clumsy, mind the alliteration there, but really, really enjoy playing these clubs. And they, for me, are the best, look at that again, that is delightful, the best affordable irons of 2023. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button, throw a like on this video, comment below, Merry Christmas, and of course, go and follow the guys at Tacomo on Instagram for your chance to win a set of standard Tacomo 301 MBs or CBs.